Greetings, thank you for being here. My name is Aurora. I am a quantum alchemist and I practice Aura, which is Angelic Universal Regression Alchemy. And it is a form of quantum hypnosis alchemy healing, a hypnosis technique. Today I am making a video on, I recently channeled Jesus, Yeshua. We are channeled him twice so far, uh, right before the end of the year and right at the beginning of the year. And if you want to watch those channelings, we are channeling, whether it be myself, my higher self as Aurora, the Phoenix, or um, another benevolent being, we will be channeling every Friday at 1 p.m. Now, the reason why I'm making this video today, it is because we are teaching you how to work with the energies within you to surround yourself with love light. A Now, you could call this shielding, uh, a bubble, a force field, working with your toroidal sphere. You call it in whichever name you want to give it. However, basically what it is, it is just as Jesus Yeshua talked about when he was incarnated upon this plane, when he, you know, walked with the Essenes and his 12 disciples, the 13, they walked with this upon earth with surrounding themselves with this energy and they understood that the minute that they woke up and the minute that they went to bed it was significant okay so these are the teachings that they've taught me from the very beginning of my awakening though i was partially awakened i awakened just like you all little by little now i uh, hope you enjoy the fire here my beautiful zen set that up for us thank you now what is the I am source light, the I am creator light, the love light, the infinite love light found here within your heart center? It is basically your energy, your infinite love light energy connecting to, you can say, the universal gateway of, of love, the perhaps the grand central heart, you can call it, and it would be Therefore, you are using your own creator energy. It is your love light energy, and there is nothing fear-based about it because it is your energy. So what is there uh, fearful? What is this? Um, how, how could this ever align with it being a fear-based technique as far as shielding, surrounding yourself with love light, when it is your own source creator energy, your own I am source light this is what you're using which is again infinite okay so you're connecting yourself you're tapping yourself in uh, to the energy force field so this would be a, this is going to be a detailed explanation now along the way you can work with this and you will see that it is very fast it, it takes me about 10 minutes in the morning to meditate and to basically I will go through the steps and teach you what I do and then what we always teach is for you to do what you desire so if you want to change it around if you want to you know grab a piece of this a piece of that whatever aligns within your heart okay so the minute I wake up I set an intent of surrounding myself with love light and the reason is that watch those channelings so you could understand Yasha really goes into detail on uh, what how you can help not only yourself and others heal by surrounding yourself by this infinite energy and as well as helping your fields force fields and your vibration and frequency being at the highest that it can be in this existence which is very dense the three-dimensional density is the is the heaviest um, density that we could be in now we do transition in and out of that density throughout the day and we can our consciousness our human consciousness can go very high in uh depending on where you're working at and your human evolution you know ninth tenth eleventh so on and so on um however working with these energies it will help you go in and out of these frequencies easier and it will also help you if you're trying to channel, if you're trying to read someone. It will help you ensure that you are not opening a gateway, a doorway to malevolent beings, negative polarized beings who will try to perhaps telepathically give you messages that are 
uh, negative polarized so that they could go into the human consciousness. You can channel and share this information. And then now they have people believing, for example, like this technique, they would have people believing that it is fear-based and you don't need it. When actuality, when we talk to all higher selves within the higher, within hypnosis sessions, they always tell us that it's definitely needed in this density. And overall, it is the intent. Okay, what is the intent? The intent of uh, ensuring that your energies are not becoming infringed upon. Infringed upon, right? Okay, so the minute I wake up, I have a bell. And this bell is very special. I found it in a con a conference I went to. And uh, it is a very heavy ball, a bell, and it comes from India. So when you ring it, and actually, I'll go get it now for you. Okay, so here it is. It is very heavy. You hear that? It keeps singing, even after it's been rung. So the significance to a bell, one of the reasons why they also use them in the churches and religion and so on, Basically, it is similar to a singing bowl. It, it carries a vibrational high frequency that basically expels out. So if you can imagine right now, as you're looking at this bell, as it rings, and I'll ring it really nicely for you in a minute, but as it rings, it creates a echo, a sound wave that comes out, emanates from the bell, and it expels out. So when it creates that the echo frequency, the vibration, it actually repels and creates a, a additional force field of ensuring that only the high frequencies are here, trying to ensure again um, that there is no negative polarized infringement upon you. Okay, so this is the way it sounds here. And you hear that the way it keeps ringing? So, not sure where you could find this, but definitely a good value. Maybe you could look on Amazon, eBay. <laughs> um, yes. So, there is the bell. So, first I start off with my bell, and then as I'm ringing my bell, I set an intention. What is the intention that I want to set upon creating force fields? I want to surround myself with love light, ensuring that no, good, no negative polarized energies, entities, technology can infringe upon my energies all day and night. And as I'm doing this, I've created that intent right there with the bell. Okay. Then I'm working with my hand chakras, my energies. Now, if you simply rub your hands together, you rub your hands together right now. Ground your feet. You rub your hands together right in front of your heart center. And then you pull them apart. You start feeling energy force fields. An energy ball you could even start creating. You feel that? It's like energy, static, electricity perhaps. And depending on what element you relate to align with, for example, say you align with more fire, perhaps you'll feel also heat in there. Say you align more with wind, you'll feel a draft. Okay? And then watch my eye, the shielding, the archangel shields, and the negative technology videos that I have, I'll put the links below. Uh, but these videos will basically go uh, in about, talk about the different shields that I use that the archangels gave me. And these shields you, you could be using upon yourself when you're surrounding. So if you could envision kind of like a onion or your auric field. So here you are here. And then there's a rainbow around you, right? So then you're going to put a layer of a, of a sphere energy around you and then another layer. And every single layer can align with an archangel or it could also align with your galactic family if they're not angels. And 
They could also align with sacred geometry, sacred alchemy symbols that you can place in these bubbles, spheres, and you can place them on the layer of it. It's energy, right? So a sphere, this is like it's energy here, right? Like that. This, it's like a line, a consciousness, okay? Now, uh, that's what I do. I put different shields that I work with, force fields that I work with uh, with the archangels, and I put layer after layer. Now, it's very important that you understand that these are not walls and, and blockages to block you from the world, to block you from interacting with other uh, beings, with other people who you come across. These are just force fields basically to help your frequency and energies be at the highest that you can be. To ensure that, for example, as we work with hypnosis sessions, we have clients who have entities in them and all sorts of different entities, negative implants, negative hooks. They have uh, you know, pieces of their heart, uh, like a fractalization of their hearts missing of their uh, soul fragmentation. And what happens is when we speak to entities is they tell us is that if you have a force field of love, light, energy, and intent, and any color, then they can basically cannot enter. Because what it is, is basically you are setting an intense, a high frequency. And this is a beautiful way where you can still be a human. You can still have emotions that you are here to be living with, like frustration, you know, some of these lower frequencies like doubt, uh, self-worth, these lower type of energies that lower your frequency right away, drain you, make you feel exhausted. So you are still able to have these type of feelings and still work with them with your inner child, with your shadow work, but in a protective sort of force field where it is healing and pulling away what is no longer serving you for your highest good and it's keeping you in your... Um, so it's, again, allowing your human experience with your emotions still coming up and then it's helping you heal along the way and it's helping you still stay in a higher frequency when you're working on these different, say, past life traumas or, or even current life traumas, okay? Now, these, after I ring the bell, I said I put the bubbles and each bubble as I'm expanding, you can start working with these bubbles and making them bigger and bigger. And you'll feel once they kind of like you went too far and say you're little by little, you have to have patience. The way it always works is, is with your higher self and guides and angels. Is you give some, they give some, you give some, they give some. It is a beautiful balance. Okay, we can't just ask, ask, ask. We have to give, take, give, take. Okay, so when they see that you're working energetically within yourself every day in this manner, they will start giving you more. This also helps you meditate easier, make, helps you go to bed, sleep peacefully. There's so many beautiful benefits to this, okay? Now, what you can do is you can imagine again, you expand it and expand it, and you could use your senses. So when you're doing this, you don't just have to use your third eye like right now. Say you're working with your third eye and you don't quite believe that you can do this. You can use your inner knowing or your feelings, your uh, strong intent of just doing it. Um, now, working with visualization though, working with uh, on the inner knowing, you can set this up. And um, you're going to see the shifts in your life, uh, how you're going to be more clear of mind, less cloudy, and hear and understand and feel your heart energy. Expand and open up further where you're using your heart energy, okay? So when you are rubbing your energy ball here, I will talk about it, though Yeshua talks about it, in his channeling, but I will explain to you now. So you want to envision the love light, pure love light energy coming in through the crown. It goes in through the crown. Down, down. Now it could cover your whole body, but then basically what you want to do is get it to the heart. 
and then from there it builds up, up the shoulders, down the arms, and expels out your hand chakras. Your hand, which Yeshua talked about that, is that there is heart, there's a heart chakra here. That's why we heal through the hands. It is, it, it is a heart chakra that we are expelling out through our palms. So that is what you're working with. You're working with love, light, energy expelling out from your hands. Okay, so that is a video on how to surround yourself. This is um, with your I Am Source, Love Light. Please do subscribe, share this video. It is a very powerful technique a powerful way to take our sovereignty back as beautiful beings that we are no not giving our sovereignty away not living in fear and understanding that if you have these type of energies around you you will be say less prone to have any type of energy attacks attachments it is influential significant it is transcending to do these type of force fields around you daily, okay? So hope you found this inspirational, full of knowledge and much wisdom for these are teachings from the Elohim, the Elohim, the Raw Collective, who is my soul family and really are our soul families within this, uh, within this universe, okay? Please do subscribe and hit thumbs up so I can continue making videos like this. Great honor it is to be here with you. And as always, I love you, I honor you, I thank you, and I respect you. Thank you.